My name is Dakota Sika. I'm a partner at the Leslie Feely Gallery in New York City. I'm also the owner of the Java Project Gallery, which shows emerging artists in Brooklyn. And I am a collector of post-war art, mainly color field and abex painting. And I also dabble and collect emerging artists. Right now we are in our Hamptons pop-up, which is something I've been doing each year during the summer, uh, bringing post-war artists out to the Hamptons so collectors out here for the summer can come see and acquire paintings from this period. Provenance, the big P word in the art world <laughs> that is thrown around a lot. But a lot of people might not know what that is. Provenance is basically the history of ownership for an artwork. And complete provenance is when you can track the history of ownership from the time the painting was made, so i.e. in the studio, up until its current owner. I'm obviously a little biased because I love color field painting and I'm a huge color field collector myself, but when you look at the other subsets of post-war art, color field painting really is the last like undervalued frontier. So there's an incredible amount of value in color field artists compared to abex or modern or you know impressionist artists. I always advise clients to try to acquire artworks that represent breakthroughs in that era. So case in point, if you wanted a painting by Helen Frankenthaler, I would advise getting a 60s stain because it was at that time period where Frankenthaler was watering down acrylic paint, pouring it on canvas, and this kind of breakthrough influenced so many other artists, i.e. Kenneth Nolan, Morris Lewis, and it was really this innovation which changed painting as we know it. There are several star lots in the sale, but if I had to highlight one, I would say it's Friedel Zubas Wendover from 1978. This is a six by six foot canvas, so it's the larger format that he made in this time period. And this is an iconic example of his signature style. Early in his career, he shared a studio with Helen Frankenthaler. So there is a lot of similarities in their practice, yet, a Frankenthaler painting at this size would be several millions of dollars, and a Friedel Zubas, I mean, the painting that's in this sale, is a hundred and fifty to a hundred and eighty thousand dollar estimate. Very reasonable, and for any serious color field collector, it's an absolute must-have piece.